So, to, uh, share with us a um, little bit about what are the attributes in you which you believe have contributed to you being successful across the spectrum of industries. You have moved from, as you said, you know, we see banking, uh, gaming, uh, media, and now it's actually it is your own company, in other words, an entrepreneur, not just a so, what has fueled your success? So, I think if it was down to one thing, I would say it would be uh, being extremely passionate and involved with anything that I got into. Or the flip side of it, I didn't get involved in things that I wasn't passionate about, whichever way you look at it. So whether it was as a banker, there was no mandate to go and rewrite a business plan for a company and reset its trajectory because it was not doing well. Your job was to go raise money. In fact, in the case of India Games, we failed at raising money back in 2000 as an online games company. And then we flipped the whole strategy around to being a mobile games company. And then eventually that was what, you know, led to the... So there wasn't a mandate, but there was an involvement. Uh, and uh, I have a contrarian view in business. You know, there's this, I disagree with the philosophy of, uh, you know, it's business, it's nothing personal. So when you basically, when you say that, and I'm sure everybody's heard it, you know, when you just say it's business and it's nothing personal, it basically gives you a carte blanche to uh, do something to someone that may not have been the right thing. Mm. Uh, because it made business sense. Whether it means firing somebody, letting go of a client for somebody else, whether it means, you know, it basically means you cut a corner for, for business gain. And, it, and it's okay. And it happens all the time. And some of the most successful CEOs are great at doing that. I don't necessarily agree with that. I believe business is personal. Mm. Business is about people, or at least the businesses that I've been involved with are all about human capital. And then by definition, business is personal. And if business is personal, you cannot live with that. You cannot, your DNA can't be, this is business, it's nothing personal. So that shift then automatically, when things become personal, it's a fine line between your judgment of, people don't like that because they think it clouds your judgment. But if you can control the emotional connect versus saying it is personal and not cloud your judgment with too much of emotion and balance that out, but say, hey, this is about, people talk about building relationships and being personal. I think that's the crux of it. And the business that we are in right now is massively built on this foundation. The minute it becomes personal, you can't help but be passionate about it. Because you start establishing relationships with the founding team of a company, you can sort of empathize with the, uh, with, with the angst and the struggle and the strife, and you get involved. Once you're involved, you're passionate about it. It becomes your own. So if you can adopt that, so that's, you know, that's what happened, I would say more as a banker, because as a VC, I spent only two years. I got a lot more involved as a banker with the companies, uh, and then running India Games for seven years uh, was, uh, and none of them have been easy rides, by the way. I, I mean, I thank you again for saying that there was great success, but there was, uh, I think there was, uh, there was a lot of tough times, uh, as is the case with any startup, and we had a lot of tough times at, back at India Games. We we had to buy back the company for my investors because our track record wasn't good and then we built it back. So a lot of that and it ended, you know, in, a, in an interesting way with an exit for all of us, which was a rare exit in the Indian sort of economy, uh, the internet economy, so to speak. So I think that one thing to explain in a long-winded way is, uh, is passion that stems from a belief that business is personal.